Hi guys, Ethan here, and welcome to another episode of Be The Future. Today's temperature here is around 85 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe. That is pretty hot. But can you get any hotter? Well, obviously you could. You just keep adding energy, and the 85 degrees will get hotter and hotter and hotter. But is there a point where you cannot make the temperature any hotter even when you add more energy? Well, let's talk about it. To understand the theory of how hot things can get, we'll have to start from the coldest things can get, which is absolute zero. At absolute zero, the motion of the heat causing particles would be the very minimal. As you get hotter and hotter from absolute zero, the wavelength of the particles would become shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. So the wavelength at 100 degrees Celsius would be shorter than the wavelength when you're at 50 degrees Celsius. This is because the 100 degrees Celsius is causing more energy. Heat is energy. Increasing the heat or temperature of matter seems pretty easy, right? All you've got to do is just add more energy to the matter and it would become hotter. I mean, humans on Earth here have been able to create temperatures like 1 to 13 exakelvins in the Large Hadron Collider. That is pretty darn impressive. I mean, 10 terakelvins, which is a lot smaller than 13 exakelvins, happen 100 microseconds right after the Big Bang. Even colder than that, at 10 gigakelvins is the supernova explosions. Thinking like this, you know that humans is pretty impressive. I mean, we have been able to create temperatures that is much, much hotter than the explosion of a supernova. Well, if you think like that, you should know that there is something standing in your way. Why can't we get hotter and hotter and achieve things we have never done before? It's easy, right? You just keep on adding energy. Nope. Once you reach the temperature 1.41679 times 10 to the 32nd power Kelvin, you would meet a physical barrier. If you don't understand big numbers this much, this is roughly 100 million 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 degrees Kelvin. This is the temperature where the wavelength gets so short that it can't get shorter anymore. Well, what if you keep on adding energy to the Planck temperature? Well, we don't know, but we're positive that miniature black holes called Kugelblitz that are formed by energy will start to form above the Planck temperature. Now, if you keep on adding energy to the black hole, you'll just pull the black hole theoretically, so you can't get any hotter than the Planck temperature. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.